Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Ark. Today, we're going to be working with the Finrears a little bit and also the Rock Drakes. So we have all of the artifacts that we need to be able to do the Broodmother Gamma fight. We're going to be using the Finrears, so we need to get a couple more of those raised up. I think we're going to do it without saddles. I've only got two saddles. Really don't want to lose either one of them since I only have two right now. So I'll probably try to breed, I don't know, 12 or 15. We'll take those in and they should be fine. They got quite a high damage output. And then for the rock drakes, so we have all males. All three of the eggs we stole are all males. So we're gonna take one of them, use a mutator on them, change it to a female, get some eggs and do some breeding since that is a relatively new feature for them. Kind of curious what the stats will be like. And then we'll get all that kind of stuff worked out and going and see how it turns out. I think what we're gonna do is this one is our 190. We're gonna keep him as a male. I really like the colors on him. And then we have a 180 and a 185. So here's the thing. I definitely wanna do the highest level ones, but I would love to have his feathers on with that one. With the skins, I'm not too crazy about the skin colors on this one. So I don't know, I'm kinda, I haven't decided yet what I wanna do with those. I did go back down and get some more of the element shards. Got quite a bit. We are almost out of crystals down there though. So let's go ahead, we'll make up some element sheets. I think we get 10 for each one, right? Yep, we get 10. So that's good because I think it takes 10 for each time you use a mutator. Nice, nice, so we got that sorted out. While we're doing this, let's go ahead and get the, where are they at? Dude, I moved everything around and totally forget where I put stuff. Let's get these guys going. So that one's already turned on. Let's turn this one on to mating. Nice. Let them do their thing. And then... Oh, they're over here. I think this is the one we need, right? So this is the one that... Okay, so that's something we can use probably on the griffins. That'll let ones breed that aren't normally allowed to. That's the imprint of nearby creatures. Don't need that one. Stops them from aging. Grow more rapidly. Oh, and somebody told me that the one that, uh, the setting that allows them to grow more rapidly, it will work on the creatures like those, right? So if we turned it on, it would make that grow up super fast. Also with the nanny imprinting. So it just does kind of make speeds everything up, you know? That's the one for mutated eggs. Don't want that one for right now. Gender swap. That's the one we want to do. So let's get our rock drake over here. Like I said, this is all new to me, and hopefully <laughs> we can get it figured out soon because it's it's quite expensive, right? Seems that we don't have access to element very easily at the moment until we get the boss fights done. I'm curious if it's going to give you the same amount of element sheets as it does for like a normal broodmother fight and stuff, or if it's altered. We'll have to see. So I think we have a time limit too. I think it said six hours for breeding or for... The changeover before it changes back, if I remember right. Oh, it's immune to further changes for six hours. Okay, that's all it is. So let's see. Let's... Wait, does that work on everything around? All right, so that's a female. Oh, dude, it cho totally changed these. Well, that's kind of... Oh, those are fine. Those are fine. Uh, I hope it didn't change all these. Dude, that's going to suck if it changed all these. It didn't. Awesome. Okay, cool. So let's bring... I need to get the saddle. And I don't know if it's permanent, too. We'll bring it over here to lay the egg. I really need to keep an eye on this so I can claim it. 26 seconds. That's not too long. We should be able to grab this, dude. Yeah, I should have looked at that. I didn't realize that the pulse was going to be so big. <laughs> dude, that would have sucked if it changed everything over, you know? Tell you what, let's... Let's do the rock drakes right here. Just so that they're out of the way. Because we can take the egg and throw in the incubator here, no problem. Come here, buddy. Let me claim you. Nice, nice. Alright, let's pull you over here. Get you over this way, buddy. 
So something I can do to speed this up as well, we'll probably do it once we get one of the rock tricks done. My other ones over there that are finished, the two, one's a male, one's a female. So we can actually set those for breeding as well. And you are another female. With all of our good stats. I couldn't figure out how to get the 5400 off of the other one. I tried it a couple times before I killed them off from our original one. But I kept getting the lower damage and everything. So I was like, it's it's not really worth it to deal with it. So I'm going to turn this dude around. Yep, yep, yep. Huge walkway. Still too small. I do like it though, man. It turned out pretty well. The whole little gate thing that I have here. I like it at least. All right, buddy. You need to cooperate with me here. All right, so. Enable mating on you. Wait a minute. Thought the one set. Oh, yep, okay. I saw the mail. I <laughs> thought it didn't change or change back. Cool. So we are about to have us a rock drake egg. Ah, dude, that's awesome. So yeah, what if that is permanent, the change? Did it change these around? Not that it matters. I don't think so. I don't remember. Wait, it did. No? What does that mean up top? I don't know. It's kind of weird. All right, we'll just leave it as it is. That's good. That's good. We got you guys breeding. So you got a couple more seconds and that'll be ready. Let's grab these two. We'll pull them over. Probably just leave them right here as well. It's going to take a minute for us to get 10 or 12 of them. Plus, I want an extra one just to keep. I need to get one and keep it separate from the pack. Kind of like how I did that Ravager. And then that way, I always have a good one for stuff, you know. Maybe we'll get some mutations. I don't know if that's possible with the Fenrirs. And those guys should be going, right? They are. I should separate them. So that that doesn't get all weird. Oh, it did. So gender changed these two, right? Is that what that means? I don't know, man. I think I kind of messed up pulsing that with everything so close. It doesn't have a range either, right? It doesn't show you how far. It does. Oh, dude, that is a huge range. So, yeah, it changed the gender on those. It changed my Ravagers. And not that it matters. Oh, wait, can you breed dung beetles? Hmm. Nope, no gender. Okay, so you can't. Okay, okay. So, it's not that big of an area. It's fine. Wait, which one is... Is that one mating with that one? I'm confused. Nope, these two are. All right, that one's got nine more seconds. Be taking that. Thank you. The dung beetles will be happy. Oh, dude, we got an egg. Nice. So it's a 185 egg. So you got two minutes. We're going to do a couple of the rock tricks. Going to do the same thing where we change them out as we get higher level ones. And I kind of want to get them to where they have at least that blue skin. So it might take a couple minutes. All right, so that one's in the gestation period. Let's throw you into there. And we got a female. Nice. So we can get rid of the one over there. That one's got blue. Looks like I got the colors from the male. There we go. Let's use the canteen. All right, disable mating. Let's get this one out of the way for now. I don't want to move it too far. I want to wait and see what the colors look like before we go moving stuff around too much. And give me that, because I'm going to need it. How far along are you? 50 seconds. And those two are mating as well. Oh, dude, it's a busy day, man. And then you are ready to hatch. Let's give it a second before we hatch it. Well, we got time. We got time. Let's go ahead and do it. Oh, it's still, still incubating. Dude, that thing takes forever, man. Get a little bit of food while we're waiting. Oh, yeah, the, uh, the dung beetles. There you go, buddy. A little lunch for you. All 
And you got 13 seconds? Nice, man, nice. So I'm hoping to find another Giga soon. I really need to set up a, another base. I'm not sure where I want to do it. I think up that way towards the Redwoods. Or maybe we could do it on the platform we have up in the Redwoods. We'll set up our other generator and transmitter. All right, buddy, let's get you over here. And that way we can start looking for some more Gigas. Possibly another Thylux. We still need to do that as well. And dude, since we have the transmutator, we can go ahead and make our Thyla and our version. I like the skin pattern on them, you know? All right, so you're a male and you're a female. Cool, so there's another one that we can breed too. It just speeds up the process, you know? Let's turn these off for the moment. I don't want too much going on, right? 29 seconds. Let's go ahead and hatch our rock drake. Oh, nice. Awesome colors, man. It looks like it's a little bit darker than that one too, right? Doesn't have that extra green. Ah, dude, that's fantastic. Nice, nice. All right, tell you what. You hang tight there. We'll check you out in a minute. We need to catch this one as soon as it's ready and do our imprint. And that'll be three more of those going. So we've got three, four, five. So that'll be five of those. Oh, <laughs> launched them. All right, come over here, buddy. So that'll be five of these. That's about a third of the way. I'm not sure. Either 10 or 15 we're going to take into the fight. I don't want it to be too overpowered, but I also don't want it to be under. And I think I usually ride on a UD for boosting. I don't think I'm going to do it this time. I think we're going to just ride one of those. I want to try to freeze the boss since it has that ability. So that's going to be it's going to be interesting. See if that works out. All right, so where are we at in life? These are all good. Let's turn you guys off as well. Let's see, do we have any kind of mutations on anybody? None on you. Oh yeah, the stats. So, roughly, 6,000 on the health, 1,100 on the stamina, 684 on the weight, 317 damage. It's going to be interesting to see how that goes up. But dude, oh man, that looks so nice. Ah, the blue and the black. No mutations on you. And no mutations on you. Hmm. Oh, one on you. Okay, so... Let's see if we can figure out what it was. I think it's gonna be food. Yeah, I think it went into... F Did it go into food? Let's see what these stats are on this one. Hmm, I don't know, man. It's really hard to tell if I don't have two of them right at the same time. I don't know. I'm not... Too much into mutations. I don't really breed for those too much right now, so it doesn't really matter too much to me. But we can go ahead and move this guy out of the way. So 5,400 and 385. 7,500. That's something we need to look at. And 418. I think this one got kind of in the middle of them. Oh, that is really low on the damage. Oh, dude. I like the colors on this one, though. So it's got better health than the other one. But only three, 300, 320 on the damage. Let's see what this female is. We might be able to breed that out. Yeah, 385. Okay, so I'll tell you what. What we're going to end up doing... So that one's got kind of halfway of the stats between this and that one for the health... We definitely need to get this damage onto that one. So whenever we start breeding that one, the main thing we need to get up is that stat. So this one we're going to get rid of altogether. We're going to keep it just in case for the moment. Just throw it back over here for now. And if all this works out well, we'll get rid of these other ones we have, including our original. And we'll have us a real good one for our main one. Let's go ahead and take the saddle back for the moment, too. And I need to get another Ravager. Well, I don't know, man. I should. Just so I have an extra one raised up. I need to get one of the storage containers. Take a look and see. This right here. So I think this right here will hold on to all of our soul traps and stuff. I think I have one made. Let me take a look. How are we doing over here? Everybody's good? Everybody's good. 
I haven't really messed mess with that feature too much. I thought I had one. I don't know. I have to look into it later to see what all it's all about. But I did go ahead and move this. So now, <laughs> we have roof access. It's kind of in the way of the tails of the wyverns, but I mean, it's not too bad. It's easy to get up there from just using the stairs, so not that big of a deal. Alright, so you're still doing good, you're doing good, and you're almost ready. And you're going to take quite a while, so we definitely need to wait for that one. I want to get one or two more eggs, like I said, just to try to get that damage up. So let's take a look at this real quick for our Thyla. Costs one element, so that's not bad. And then we need the mode for that one. So is there a range on this one too? It is. We need to turn this way down. Oh, that's as low as it can go. Huh. Interesting. I wonder if it'll let me actually pick what dino I want to use. Hopefully I don't mess our, <laughs> our Thyla up, man. Ah, uh, dude. So that means we can kind of go out and figure out, or not figure out, but find whichever one we want. Doesn't matter the gender or the type. We just need a high-level Thyla. And then we can do all the changes right here. As long as we have enough of the element. Speaking of that, let's grab one more. Ah, uh, dude, I hate using all of our shards for this. What if it goes well with the boss fights? Well, I mean, then I have to get all the... Uh, yeah, it's going to be... It's going to kind of suck, man. If those crystals don't respawn fast because... Oh, uh, getting all those artifacts to kind of do the boss fights quite a few more times. It's going to kind of suck. Alright, so one into there. Converted dino. Well, that was quick. Nice. Oh, dude, you have horrible health, man. Oh, it almost killed him. Wait. It put it back down to normal level, so it takes all of your stats out of him. <laughs> that kind of sucks. Oh, dude, I spent so long leveling him up. He had like 20,000 on his health, but he's a different version. He looks cool, man. I haven't seen an orange and black one. Let's, let's grab your saddle, buddy. We need to get you a better one, too. Ah, uh, dude. I need to heal him up. Ah, oh, man, we really need to get a healing pig to get everything a little bit better. But that's cool, man. I'm glad we got us in our version. I don't remember what his other stats were. Put that into there. Ah, oh, dude. So, yeah, that totally takes everything down. So, I think with the Giga, it'll probably do the same thing, right? It'll just change him. Take his health all the way down. Lose all of his stats. Are you ready yet? Almost 99%. I want to take a look at the colors on this one. So it is going to be black and blue with the feathers. I like how it's got that black stripe of fur on the back. It's kind of neat. All right, so you're good to go. You know what I could do, we might do, is... Let's think about putting all these in a line and doing all the females breeding at once. <laughs> I don't know, man. Maybe I'll do that later. That's gonna be it's gonna be tough having all those at once come out. Let's get everybody sorted out a little bit here. It's getting kind of crowded. We'll move these guys as well. I should take a look at the stats to see what difference the females are as well. I don't know, like I said, I don't get too far into breeding. Normal stats. Wait, 493. Nope, it's the same. So yeah, they got the same stats, so that's not too bad. But yeah, you can get really far into breeding, and it's just so time-consuming, you know? Now, if you're playing on, like, official servers and stuff with the normal damage amounts, uh, dude, it's definitely worth it because of the boss fights and whatnot. Alright, these are the two we were using. It kind of sucks I didn't get the black pattern 
I noticed on one of my original ones, it had a dark fur. And these don't. They both got the kind of white with the brown or black on top. Alright, I'll kind of clear this out a little bit over here. Alright, man. Last thing I want to do, like I said, is wait for this guy to get raised up. We'll put him over there. Try to get another egg or two. And I really want to breed the low damage out of this one. And try to get a set like that. Wait. And this one doesn't have an imprint, right? That's base stats. Oh, that is 100% imprinted. That's right, because we raised it up. So we need to wait and see what it turns out at, at the end. Totally forgot they weren't tamed. They were actually raised up. So that's going to matter, too. That might actually be decent damage. Is that 340 now and 37%? Dude, you are thirsty and hungry like crazy today. We're not even doing nothing. Yep, it might be close. Cool. All right, I'll see you back whenever she is ready. And we'll do a tiny bit more breeding before we go for the day. Need to get you all healed up too, buddy. You are in bad shape, man. All right, so there's all the wolves that we got from today. So not too bad. We got five. I was out doing a little bit of leveling with the Thyla since his stats are so low and healing them up and stuff. Let's get... A lot of this prime meat put into the grill. So I was thinking, man, we were just talking about how I'm kind of worried about getting a lot of element without having to do all the boss fights so much. So I think what we might do is get us a little tech parasaur farm going and hatch the eggs and use those for making element sheets. So it's tin dust to make one shard, and then we can convert the shards to sheets. So it shouldn't be too much, especially if we have a whole farm going. It should be a fairly fast process, and that'll kind of allow us to bypass doing so many of the boss fights. Because there are some things I want to do with tech still, especially with the breeding, right? With changing the stats around and stuff like that on the creatures. Not too sure about stuff we want to build that's tech. We can kind of jump over to Genesis 2 and build stuff over there since we have so much of the element. But as far as, like, consumable element for the mutators and generators, I think we'll be able to do it that way. Because you can't use dust for the actual generator, but you can use the shards, kind of like how we have here. Because we are going to need to have that other generator running over in the Redwoods whenever we set up the other transmitter to do some dino location. So I don't know, man. Maybe we'll do that here soon while we're getting ready for the boss fight. And are you... you're good on all that. Let's throw all this stuff, well... Grab this as well. Throw these in over here. Dude, he's ate almost all of my cooked meat trying to get him healed back up. But yeah, I think that'll be something different to do. I know it's kind of probably time consuming and not needed, but it's a different way to do stuff. And I like to change things up a bit and not do it the same way all the time. Let's check on our little dude over here, see where he's at in life. Almost ready. 75%, so not too bad. I could... When we go to breed the next one, where's the one that speeds it up? Not that one. That's the one that changes it. This is the one that does everything else. That's a random gender to genderless dinos. So, here's what I don't get, right? So, this is the one that grants uh, nearby dinos, dinos the ability to breed that normally cannot. So, would you use this? Or would you give the gender to genderless dinos? If you were, like, wanting to do griffins. I don't know. We'll have to figure that out later. That's the imprint of creatures. This is the aging one. Grow much more rapidly. So how much... Man, that is 10 element. So it's definitely only worth it to do it whenever they are newborns. So if I do the thing where I had take... One male and all the females of the Fenrirs. Set them over here. Have them all give out one newborn each plus that. You know, another rock drake. And then pulse it. That should work on all of them, right? I think. Possibly. If I read that right. <laughs> I don't know, man. Stats are looking fairly well. Probably going to be around just right at 400 with the damage, so it is a little bit lower, so we still need to breed into that, but the health is up pretty high. It's going to be higher than this one, I think, whenever it's fully imprinted. 
Nope, it'll be right at it. Nice, man, nice. All right, I will see you in a few minutes. It'll probably be morning by the time that it is ready, but I'm just going to do some more farming for meats and try to level this dude up a little bit more, man. Oh, he is so low on all of his stats. Again. <laughs> Again, we already went through this once. So this dude's not doing too bad. We got his health up to around 10,000. And then his damage is almost at 300. So we're getting there. It's a <laughs> very slow process leveling this dude up again. But dude, they had an update on this map. And it seems like they added in some more like terrain features and stuff. I don't remember those being there before. Let's go ahead and get this guy too since we're headed back. Throw that into the grill. Have us a nice little bit of lamb chops. Our rock drake should be ready. Let's see, let's put that all into damage. Once I get this up a little bit more, around 350 per hit, we'll go ahead and change the health and get it up around 20,000. I think that's a fairly decent area for that to be at. Just for the little bit that we use him for, you know? Oh, it's so nice not having to open and close that gate anymore, man. So, looks like little buddy's ready. Let's get this meat into the grill real quick. And then we'll do a tiny bit more breeding. I think there was some prime meat in here, right? A little bit. Take all that first, man. It spoils so quick. And then we'll put all the mutton in there. Oh, just enough. Dude, that was like a perfect amount. Nice. All right, buddy. You stay there, man. I do like the color pattern on him, though. Looks a lot better, so we can see him in the sunlight. Uh, his feet. <laughs> It'd be awesome if his feet were black, but whatever. Bud, you are, you are all over the uh, the walkway, man. You're in <laughs> bad shape. All right, so let's try this. I might have to put him in a soul trap. Yep. That's yeah, going to be the easiest way to get him out of there. Nice. All right, so how you doing? 7,400 on the health, weight 816, stamina 1192, and 385 on the damage. So that is, that's from the male and that's from the female. So not too bad, not too bad. Let's get you up here a little bit. Ah, dude, I'm so happy that is blue. So the other thing I'm wanting to do, so I'm wanting to breed out the lower damage and then also... The underbelly. This one's got green. I don't really mind the tan, but that green I want to get rid of. Dude, work with me here. You gotta be... Well, I'll tell you what. It's gonna be one of those days, isn't it? I can see it already. But I'd rather have the black like this one is. That's the other thing we'll be trying to change out. Let's get this going. All right, so they should be, and they are. Nice. So we'll get an egg out, throw it into the incubator, see what it looks like, and hopefully, uh, dude, I really hope it has the better stats and the color, and it turns out male. If it does, we'll go ahead and get rid of that male, and then we'll have this one and the other one and use that for our breeding. I guess it doesn't matter, right? As long as we can get the right colors and stats, I guess we can go ahead and just use the mutator and change it over to a different gender if we need to. Dude, that thing makes it so much easier. Really kind of takes out all of the stress of breeding and stuff, right? All right, just putting a little bit of meat away. We do have that one in the incubator now. And the thing that sucks is I can already see on the screen that it's going to be... It's going to have the green on it. It's got green on one of its color fields. So I'm not too happy about that. It does have blue and purple, though. So we'll have to see how it comes out. That's kind of a lot different. That green, if it's like on the back or something, that'll be fine. It is a male, and it has one mutation, so that should be interesting. We got twins! Oh, dude, look at the colors on them! That's actually that's actually pretty good, man. I like how the purple and blue are on them. Oh, fantastic! So, you are... You're a male. And you're a male. Dude, that's not bad at all, man. So, what we're going to do is definitely change out the male... For one of these. So here's the new game plan, man. 
Well, actually, let's look at this stats real quick. It does have the higher damage, too. So that should come out with good damage and the good health. Fantastic. So what I want to try to breed out now is these feathers on the skin of the female. Let's go ahead and turn off mating real quick on these. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down, calm down. All right, now you guys are all kind of messed up. Where's where's your brother? Did he jump off? He did. Boy, I tell you what. Let's get you over here some, because as soon as you start growing, man, you're going to be... Gonna be in a bad spot. Yeah, you're gonna be the problem child, aren't you? Boy, I tell you what. Let's go ahead and just throw it right there. Should be good. I'm definitely gonna have to work this out a little bit better. Admin mode? What is that? What? Interesting. I don't know what that does. But we're not gonna turn it on. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to put some more railings up. I'll probably just do the regular wood ones and build them up. But yeah, man, so if we can get the feathers off of these onto the skin of this one, that would be perfect. Because then the green's gone, it's black and blue, and then the feathers are going to be purple and blue. Interesting. Not too bad and not too hard to do. And then we'll still get the good stats off of that one, too. It's just going to might take a little bit of egg hatching. Tell you what, let's go ahead and try to do that before we go. And maybe we'll... Let's throw the... Uh, the element in there and we'll see if that works out for making them raise up faster see what the difference is right dude we're using all of our element shards on this i mean that's what they're there for though right Take all of them please cool so it should pulse out get them to raise up faster i wonder how much faster though Dude, if it's instant, oh man, <laughs> that'd be nice. Causes nearby non-adult dinos to grow much more rapidly. Okay. Oh, dude, look how fast they're going, man. That is definitely what we're going to do with the Fenrirs to get the rest of them for the boss fight. I will do that. I'll put all the females out here, put them all on mating. Let them spit out a little one. Maybe I'll cryopod them, right? Put them in a soul trap. That way I can throw them all out at once and only use one pulse and get all the ones we need. Oh, dude. It's going to make my life so much easier for doing boss fight stuff. That's what kind of takes me the longest, right? Is getting everything... Well, part of it. Part of it's getting them all hatched and raised up, but then the other part is leveling, which... No setting on that for leveling, is there? <laughs> makes stuff so much easier. Cool. Let's get the mail out of the way over here. We've got an extra one there, which we'll just, I guess, hold on to. I don't know what else to do with them. We should just go ahead and kill these off, you know? Because we're going to have way too many rock drakes here before too long. Oh, and they're already raised up. Nice, man. All right, let's put you there. Dude, I thought we were, thought we were going down for sure. All right, disable mating. The tail, please, the tail. Tell you what, he was trying to throw me off because I don't want to use them anymore. <laughs> he heard me talking about getting rid of them. I want to double check. I mean, imprinting doesn't matter because... But it is 100%. It doesn't matter for breeding, right? So yeah, all of the good stats. Fantastic. Alright, buddy. Let's get you unstuck. Put you over here. Dude, if we get this right on the first try, I'll be so happy. Actually, we needed to do... We need to get a male and a female. So it's not going to happen on the first try unless for some reason we get twins. And one's a male, one's a female, and they have all the exact stats. That would be... One in a million shot there. <laughs> I don't think it'll happen. Alright, try that again. Let's let that get an egg out. Let's go ahead and pick you up and move you, buddy. Or treats for the dung beetle. Speaking of that, how are we doing in here, man? You're good. We can actually take that out of you. Because you're powered. And we'll hold on to that beer, too. So we're not doing too bad. I got the stem berries on hold. I do only have a few of the seeds for the tinto berries. So I need to rip up some of the stem berries here before too long. And change them out so we have some better stuff there.
How far along are you? 38%? Alright, we'll get an egg out. I'll throw it in there and we'll check out another little one before we go. Ah, oh, dude, that is awesome. Oh, I can't wait to get all the perfect colors and everything and then we don't have to mess with it anymore. Ah, uh, dude, this is awesome. So, it's a male, which is good. And it has a color pattern from her, plus the feathers from him, it looks like. So that is awesome. It's got one mutation. I think that's the same mutation that the other one has. So we just need to see what the damage and health is going to be like. I think the health is right. It's at 31. I think that's what the other one was. And I'm not sure what the damage and stuff was on the other one. But dude, we're definitely going to have to... To make another area over here. I might have to turn some of this over here into dino storage. Maybe put like a second level up and then, or maybe closer to the building over here. Just to store stuff a little bit easier. I don't know, man. We're going to be out of space if we start doing <laughs> a whole bunch of breeding. Probably should have built over there on that other little bit of land. And you're ready. Cool. Let's hatch you. See what your stats look like. Oh, dude, that is perfect on the colors. I do like the little bit of peach in there, actually. It kind of breaks up the blue, black, and purple. And then some pink on the feathers. And it has the good stats. Oh, dude. So, that and that is perfect. All we need to do now is get a female one, because this is a male. And then we'll have our pairs for breeding for sure. So we can get rid of this male. Like, permanently get rid of them. As well as that one, and as well as all of those over there. So that's one, two, three, four, five that we don't need. Little buddy's on follow still. I'm sorry, man. Come over here, dude. Come over here. There you go. Don't walk off the edge. Now oh, we got us a smart one, too. He didn't try to four-wheel drive off the cliff. Ah, oh, little buddy. That is awesome, man. I did not expect to get the colors and... The stats that I wanted on the first try. And if we happen to get a male again with all the correct stuff, I'll just spend some more of the element and change that over and uh, turn him into a female. Well, not too bad of a day, man. I do like the mutator and transmutator. Really? Right here? Right in front of me? I'm glad that we got our thyla changed over. We got some awesome colors and stats on our drakes. I just need to get one more bread. I'll go ahead and get the fin rears ready. So hopefully in one of the next two videos or so, we'll try to do the brood mother and see how that works out. But we're gonna go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you liked all the little bit of breeding and mutations and stuff like that we kind of play with today. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.